Hello there, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to be jumping into Photoshop CC 2018 and taking a look at the new brush smoothing feature. Rightio, so we're now in Photoshop and I've created a new document and the first thing I'm going to do is just create a new layer from the bottom of the layers panel and grab the brush tool over here and select black as the foreground color and from the drop down at the top just set the size to about 15 and I've just got one of Photoshop's default brushes. Now by default the new smoothing feature in CC 2018 is set to 10%. So with the brush tool, let's just start drawing some lines. And you can see I'm just waving the cursor all over the place, creating lovely wibbly wobbly lines, but they're not that smooth. You can see around these curves here, it isn't as smooth as it potentially could be. And I'm using a graphics tablet as well. So in theory, this should be a lot easier for me to do smoother curves. And well, technically it is, but if you're not using a tablet, or even if you are, and you want to get a smoother line, there is a way we can do that. Now we can crank up the smoothing from 10%, well, we'll go all the way up to 100. We'll just crank it up to 100%. And as we drag, now you can see we have this little pink guide, almost like a bit of string, just pulling it along. And it makes it incredibly easy to draw super smooth curves. In fact, so far, I found it impossible to go completely bananas and actually draw something that isn't smooth. So this is me going absolutely wild on the graphics tablet to the point where I've nearly just knocked over my coffee and it is impossible to draw something that is not smooth. So, well, that's pretty cool. And this cog icon here, we can click that and we get a few options as well. So we have pulled string mode. So if we just go and enable these one by one and see what they do. So with pulled string mode, we can left click and drag and you can see I can choose which direction I want to go. And then when that string becomes straight, it will then start to draw and it will pull this line around. And I probably need to zoom out a little bit here. So this is incredibly useful to help just draw along your lines if you're tracing something or whatever it is you're using it for and get super smooth curves. And if we switch on stroke catch up, what this essentially is, is if we left click and drag and start drawing a lovely smooth line, if we stop, Photoshop will just catch up to the position of our cursor. And we can then carry on again because when you're drawing with the smoothing tool Essentially, you have this little pink guide that's always out in front. So this option just allows it to catch up. And we can turn on catch up on stroke end and try this one out. So if we left click and drag, we can pull this one along. And if we let go, Photoshop will immediately draw a straight line between the position that we paused and that position where our cursor was. So let's do this again. And if I stop and then let go, Photoshop will continue that to the point of my cursor with a straight line. Now we've got adjust for zoom. Now the way this works is if you zoom in much closer on your canvas and you start drawing with the smooth tool, it will decrease the amount of smoothing. Or if you zoom out, it will increase the amount of smoothing. So essentially it will adjust the amount of smoothing that is happening based on your zoom level. Or you can just disable this if you'd like to have a consistent amount of smoothing and the way Photoshop treats that smoothing for your project as a whole. But for me personally, I like to just have adjust for zoom on and everything else turned off actually. And we can just draw lots of lovely lines like so. Lots of fun to be had here. And of course you can go up to Photoshop down to preferences or if you're on a PC, go to edit and Photoshop preferences and select cursors and you can tick this here so you can choose whether you have that little pink line that guide helping pull your cursor along so you can choose whether to have that on or off or you can choose a different color just if you don't like pink and there we go there's a look at the new brush smoothing feature in Photoshop CC 
2018. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.